working with sound is a simple concept. Take the output from a cheap head mounted video cam, convert it to sounds a blind person finds useful. But it's that conversion part where it gets tricky. Rick Lockridge reports. Blinded in a horrible chemical plant accident 24 years ago, Patsy Fletcher now insists she can see the world again through a pair of headphones. I felt like there's the branches over here. Are we near a tree? Yeah. Can't point at the fence now. Do it? Mm hmm. It's like it dredged up memories of sight. The sounds trigger the memory for me. Patsy uses the voice system. The three middle letters stand for OIC, $600 sunglasses with a tiny built in spy cam. A backpack laptop to convert pictures into soundscapes. Walking down her hallway, Patsy sees nothing, but the camera sees this and tells her this. Mm -hmm. Something moving. Patsy is the number one beta tester for the voice's Dutch designer, a man she's never met, but we decided to pay him a visit. And so we came to Eindhoven, Holland's fifth largest city, home to the giant Philips Electronics and to Dutch inventor Peter Meyer. The image gets scanned from left to right, and pitch is associated with the height in the image. You hear little sound bursts corresponding to all the little bright squares. Through the voice, a row of windows looks like this. A cameraman like this. Meyer is quick to spell out the voice's shortcomings. No depth perception. Can't track moving cars. Hard to master, but he hopes smarter cameras and faster laptops will fix those problems in the future. I would be most satisfied if uh, this system could be proven to provide a level of, let's say, low vision to blind people. Patsy Fletcher believes he's already succeeded. Even as primitive as the voice is right now, it adds that extra extension that I need to live within the world comfortably and happily. Rick Lockridge, Tech TV.